Okay, let's begin. Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Horror Favourite of the Decade. I am Random Ross, and this is the show where I review a horror movie that is one of my many favourites from each decade spanning the decade. So, this month we're in the 1940s. So, the 40s, a lot was going on. The world was at war, Germany and Britain, and you know, were fighting once at one another again and of course other European countries chipped in and of course Asia was having their own problems going on in the war but we did get some movies out in that decade because whilst all that was happening and the Americans did join in the war in 42 America wasn't really that war struck stuff was still going on as usual in America so we got some films out, we got some comedies, and we got our horrors. And my favourite of this decade is the 1941 classic, The Wolfman. Yes, uh, directed by, well, written by Kurt Slob, Sol, Slobark? I butchered the guy's name. Directed by George Wagner, starring Lon Chaney Jr., Claude Rains, Warren Willem Williams, Ralph Volveni or something, Bela Lugosi and Maria Alpris or something, Kale. So, um, th those are the cast members' names. So, uh, th this, of course, is a universal horror. I like to think that the 30s, 40s and 50s were the three decades that that studio and their monsters we're at an all-time high. You know, their golden age. So in this, Larry Talbot comes home, um, you know, till he encounters a wolf and is bitten by it. And then he himself in the full moon transforms into a wolf-like creature and attacks people. Yet he has no control over his beastly side. Uh, so that is pretty much the story. We get some gypsies here and there that warn him of this curse. And fun fact, the wolf that attacked him in real life was actually Lon Chaney's pet uh, Alsatian. Um, which is a little fact there. But from it being in a dark, darkened state and from certain angles, it kind of does look like a wolf. Anyway, let's get to my likes and dislikes. What did I like about this? Well, first of all, i got to go with the effects on this. Now, the effects at the time were probably very groundbreaking we had him transform you know like from shot for shot it was like cut and then put some makeup on cut and put more makeup on now i imagine that must have took hours to do that one transformation scene that lasted only a couple of seconds so he you know i gotta say lon cheney jr had the patience of a seat there with his you know, you makeup and prosthetics and the effects they look pretty good and they probably were very effective for that time in 1941 looking at it now though they're not so brilliant but still you gotta admire the whole you know, makeup team that made that look possible and Cheney even went on to reprise that role in a few other films as well in Universal like Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein and a few other crossovers so yeah i like the makeup effects in this i also thought this had a good score i mean this was 1940s horror probably very scary and affected back at that time but today it's very tame in fact the films are pg now and they even i've seen it being shown in the daytime on the horror channel occasionally but i also like lon cheney jr's performance in this you know, I mean, he's probably known for this role, but he's done other roles, but this is probably the role that made him. But then he was probably known as just the son of Lon Chaney, who is the man of many faces. 
Uh, I also like the supporting cast in this, like Claude Rains, you know, the Invisible Man. And we even got Dracula in there, Bill Lugosi playing uh, a gypsy part. Uh, there was some good drama in there too, which I thought was good. Uh, I liked, you know, I thought we got to have a bit of drama there to show Larry Talbot's humanity in there. And, um, yeah, the, um, I think... It was great, and the film's about 70 minutes long or so, so it's not very long. So it's quite an easy sit through, and it's quite fastly paced um, as well. And yeah, I mean, this was also with sound, and I mean, by then in 1941, it, sound had been around for at least 10, 10, 15 years or so. So people were pretty much adjusted and used to the effects of sound by then. Uh, I think. I also thought it had good cinematography and good quality of picture for its time. And yeah, it still holds up today. I mean, I like the set they used as well for like the woodlands and the night shoots. They too were good. And yeah, like I say, it is my favourite one of the 1940s. So anything to dislike? Do I have anything negative to say about this one? I can't really think of much other than maybe the effects look a bit poor today by today's standards, but you gotta admit, but I mean, you gotta hand it to him. They made what they had work at the time. This was a pre digital age where we didn't have computers at all. So, my ratings uh, I think I will give uh, The Wolfman. Um, yeah, well, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5 for The Wolfman 1941. So there you are. That is my favourite of the decade, the 1940s. So yeah, have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below if you have. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. No pressure, but it's all there if you wish to, if you want to see more from me. So, yes, uh, favourite of the decade. So that's it for this month's episode. So next month, we'll be going to the 1950s. You can also watch the previous episodes on my channel as well. Uh, I will link in the cards above or what have you. So, yes, now, to end this show. Uh, of course, I do like to end this one, this show, with a monthly shout-out. And this month's shout-out, given that we've reviewed a Buffy-like film... I thought I would give a shout out to horror YouTuber Fool Moon 1973. Uh, he's this horror YouTuber. I will admit I haven't been watching his channel for long, but he does some good horror content, and I think he definitely deserves more subs. I mean, he's got like probably less than 300. So you know, go over to his channel, check him out, and to tell him that I sent you his that I sent you his way. So there you go, that's it for this month's episode, and yeah, so until next time, I've been Random Bloss, this has been Horror Favourite of the Decade, the 1940s, and until next time, don't have nightmares.